radiologic technicians. They're technicians who assist physicians to diagnose disease. More commonly known as x-ray technicians, they use special equipment to create images of internal organs, tissues, and bones. Their specialized training is in the area of manipulating x-rays and other medical imaging devices like CAT scans and MRI machines so diseases, conditions, or injuries can be diagnosed. Radiologic technologists often take on administrative roles that they do along with their technical duties. They work under the direction of doctors about which areas of the body they need to image and what procedure to use. Sometimes they use x-rays to take pictures of bones of the body or fluoroscopes or sonograms to see the soft tissues of the body like the heart, lungs, and liver. These devices use sound, magnetic, and radio waves to produce the images. There are two different ways you can do x-ray. You can do that in the hospital, you can do it in an office or an outpatient setting. I particularly work in an outpatient setting. I work in orthopedics, which is a wonderful career for an orthopedic uh, x-ray tech. I come in, I of course warm my equipment up, um, I talk with the doctor, we assess the patient, see the doctor orders what the patient needs, I obtain the images that he needs to give him the best information that he needs to evaluate, diagnose, and treat his patient. As an x-ray tech, you'll interact with patients and other medical staffers. You'll need to have good people skills, especially if you're dealing with uncooperative patients or you become a supervisor. The work always takes place indoors, and sometimes you're exposed to infectious diseases, so you wear protective clothing on the job. Because the work that you do could have an effect on a patient's life, you'll have to be very accurate and highly competent. And you'll need to be prepared to stand for long periods of time and be physically able to lift, push, or pull heavy objects. You'll need a high school diploma. Also required is additional schooling to earn your certification. About 45% of radiologic technicians hold an associate degree offered by professional technical schools, two-year colleges and some hospitals. Different branches of the military train some technicians. While in high school, you should take college prep or college tech prep courses as electives like anatomy, physiology, health, education, or introduction to healthcare. You need to get your basics in math and science. It's heavy into the sciences. Um, once you have that completed at that point, I would definitely suggest shadowing to see if this is a career that you would be interested in. You can also gain general experience and learn what it takes to work in medicine by volunteering at a local hospital. You'll need to be licensed and employers will look for experience and training on x-ray, sonogram, and fluoroscope equipment. So how much money do x-ray technicians make? A radiology technologist makes, I would say, a starting wage would be I would say $18. Uh, in the hospital setting, it would probably, you probably would add about two to four dollars onto that as a starting. And the more you, well, of course, the longer you're there, it adds to it. And then the more you diversify, where you go into CAT scan, you go into MRI, you go into ultrasound, one of those other avenues, of course, then the pay scale goes up also. Due to an aging population, technologists who know about x-rays, MRIs, nuclear medicine, radiation, respiratory, and surgical therapy are in high demand. These colleges in Ohio offer programs for those interested in radiologic technology.